The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Galatians 6, 7 to 10. Yes, yeah, Galatians 4, Romano, 18, Sia, if you want to see you, you don't know. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Mama, one nadamo. So you just cannot have a good name. You need to sow something that will yield that kind of great name for you. Verse 9 says this. Let us not become weary in doing good. If you want to have a good name, sow good. And then you will reap good. So we are not in power, but more than that, we do not have the power. We are not in the power. say, "Na mumma yemre papa yemu." Let us not be weary in doing good, for at the proper time you reap a harvest if you do not give up. Na se yampa ba yebeka swaba nibremu. The human being is very, very overbearing, but if you want to be a good man, you have to sow good. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Find opportunities and do good. And then that good that you have sown, you will reap it and it will rub on your name. Number two, be humble. See, to be humble is to consider others better than yourself. See, humility is quite a scarce virtue on earth. See, so when people see that you are exhibiting humility, they respect you. Because the lowest common denominator among humans, I always say, is pride. <laughs> see, if we see people walking sanctimoniously with their hands behind them, it doesn't mean they are humble. You... You insult them and see. So who say nipa nam no one say go echi sa bofo a. Me man nyo say obere won wan si o. O de ti abako nan so na hwe. If you like even give him some position. O de bo modin a pe di bre bi fa ne hyeh o. Wo be hu. Say I'm Heman. Hwe o be kire o say me me ni Heman. You Mordecai. Wo Mordecai. You don't want to bow. Hwe o nko to. All of you will die. Mo nyina mo be hu. You see a monster coming out of human being when you give him position. Some I'm not talking about walking and keeping your hands behind you. No, I'm not talking about trying to bow to the offering bowl when you are going to give an offering. James chapter 4 verse 6. But he gives more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. We are saying that good name purchases favors. Now if God shows favor to the humble, human beings will show favor to you. Verse 10, James 4, verse 10. Please. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. 
Now, when God lifts you up, human beings will respect you. They will bow to you. They will bow to you. But humility, uh, none of us is born humble. We learn humility. And you need to invest a lot into your spirit to be able to have the humility replaces the pride. Now, humility is beautiful. People admire that. And when they see that, they will respect you. Be God fearing. Be God fearing. Job 1 verse 1. In the land of Uz. Then leave the man whose name was Job. This man. You see, this man means he was a human being. This man. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. Then verse 8 says this. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God. And shuns evil. Now, when you are like this, what happens is that God is always close to you. And then there's a kind of glorious aura. That will glad your appearance. Look for it. Man that fears the Lord. Blameless, upright, he fears God and he shuns evil. Now, the King James who says he eschew evil. See, there are certain people who do not like fufu. And if you put fufu in any bowl, they will never eat from that bowl ever. So instead of eschewing fufu, I want to encourage you to eschew evil. Uh-huh. As chapter 10. You read from verse 1 to 3. Then we can also take Psalm 25, 12 to 14. I've interacted with Psalm 25 in this teaching. And Acts chapter 10 is talking about Cornelius. Let's read Acts chapter 10, 1 to 3. At Caesarea, there was a man named Saul. 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 A centurion in what was known as the Italian regiment. Now, very may be what Caseria, needing a de Cornelio, or ye a straf woqua, or friend Italia, dear no mu or happening. He and all his family were devout and God fearing. He gave generosity to those in need and prayed to God regularly. Or ye or the ferine, not Ostronia and Copon, or any fear for you now, not Oyemo Brun, a dear bebre, a man crofono, now a bot on Yan Copon Pie, now devout and God fearing. Now, you be a Usuro Eurade. I also suggest number four, care for the poor. Yeah. And vulnerable. The tosso nine of Bomodias or Beshe and Yafo and Mobro for care for the poor and vulnerable. She and Yafo and Mobro for as chapter ten, still in Cornelius House, verse four. Yet I saw a small phone in Yumano, it did do a Yashen Yumunayano. He distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord? He asked. The angel answered, Your prayers and gift to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now, Cornelius 
Wampaye bo, eni umobro unu adie no afro soro, abeye nkaye adie wo onyanko pon eni. As chapter 9 verse 36. Umiyenfe asuma fonu nyumano, iti mkru unyimu edu ya saini yano. As 9.36. In Jopa there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name is Dokas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. And so now, see any baby? I will yop a ni ding a di tabita ni chasi e ni dockers. Obey na na obey na inumapa ni mubro hunu adi e a oye e no aye no emma. Now to the extent that when she died, I could see say a bro owe you know. People came around showing the gifts that they have received from dockers. Ni pa ba bikuwa ni huu shia ya wadi a chedi wadi a chewa ono echre. And these poor people said, no, you can't die. Ni pa waya mo brofu you know. Na wati yamu say ah dockers. People like that when they die, people cry. Who did me join you? Ni pa wati sa ano so wo wupe na manfu so say who did you leave me for? Then the people are saying that no, Peter is around. Let's call Peter. Because this woman, this good woman, must live. And a nipani na kase a petro or wahe ya mumi enfreno nomra mami di enses wo. Always doing good and helping the poor. Bribi e muno na oye papa ena obwa e hiyafu. Now listen, you don't have to be a rich man to help the poor. Now help somebody who need help than yourself. Now or trying to help people. That's all. Don't think that you have to be a rich man like that man to be able to help the poor. You start doing the little that you can. Go to the poor and vulnerable and then give them something. Feed them. Help them. Uh, Bind their wounds. And the Lord will give you a great name. Because religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this to look after the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Now God is concerned about the poor. Now the weak and the vulnerable. Number five, I think. Be an encourager. You see, don't be spiteful and be talking down people. Now be an encourager. Not any particular time to lift people's spirit up. When you are like that, people will say that you are a good man. As chapter 4, from verse 36, Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Uh, Joseph, smartphone to no Barnaba, only an answer in trust here, any a foot to a bar, ah, or ye Lewinia or free keep. So his name is Joseph. Tinidin Eddie Joseph. But their colleagues, apostles, called him Barnabas. And so in Fefuano, a friend of Barnaba. Because he's a, a person who encourages. He sold the field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. The field was his and he brought the whole money to them for them to distribute to the poor. Now in chapter 9 of Acts verse 26 the Bible reads, when he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, that is Paul, when he got converted. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. All afraid of him. They were not believing that Saul is born again, including Peter. Now, all. 
Na small phone in your ma, a tea and crown, okay, can I find you more use at the end in Siakonoa? Now, or can suffer Paul who said, Oh, Drew Jerusalem, no, or per se, or didn't want to call a swan for no, and so now won't you know a strono if we say, Now, when you need, sir, or you see any. Now, this new convert is shoulder that way uh, he, because people think that he is still that old man, he's still the man he will come and persecute us and kill us. And then, but the Bible says, But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his way has seen the Lord and that the Lord has spoken to him and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. Who told him this? He went so close to Paul, the one they feared. He encouraged him. I'm sure he saw his face and let's give him a try. Don't let us reject this man. And then he heard his story. And then he told the story about Saul. So the others could accept him. Man of encouragement. It's my for Paul. Bra, Oba, every kind of young for no for Frono. Now, when to me and you need to me, so Banaba, a far no call, a small for no and chain, na or down ready, tre won, said ye, or whom a ruddy, quang no mu, na any senior or casa treno, ne said ye, or de a cuckoo draw can ye so who are sem, a wa damasco, and to wing in an tre, senior, Banaba, or see bang, Paul, or to me can one sem, a de tres young for.